Oh, there we go. Um, we're recording it so that people that can't attend still get to see our lovely presentation. Okay, so what we're going to be talking about? Uh, we're going to be talking about our new health and safety champions. So these are people within the area, so within housekeeping and in the kitchen here at, at Greenland, who will be responsible for a number of aspects of health and safety, which Derek will go through in a minute. Um, we're going to talk about what issues, what things we should report, what health and safety um, things we should report, and who we should tell. Um, we're going to talk about becoming a first aider. Um, it's something that certainly at, at White Nights, and I think across the whole of CHCS, we are lacking in first aiders, so the more we can get, the better. So we'll be talking about that. And lastly, um, we'll be talking about your responsibilities, our responsibilities, everyone's responsibilities, um, to protect ourselves and to protect those around us. So those that we work with, those that are visitors to our uh, departments, those that are coming to do maintenance in the kitchen, how do we protect all of those people? So I'm going to hand over to Derek. Health and Safety Champions. The reason we decided to do Health and Safety Champions was we had a Health and Safety Audit. During that audit, um, the people on the ground told the auditors that they weren't sure who to report Health and Safety to, they weren't sure what they should be reporting, why they should be reporting it, and when they should be reporting it. Some people said they didn't have access to the managers all the time, so they couldn't tell them. People were basically confused what to do with health and safety. So we thought, let's create some health and safety champions from you guys. So you'll know who your health and safety champions are. You'll know who you can talk to, who you can ask questions about health and safety. What we're trying to do is to create a safer workplace that prevents injury and protects your health. The health and safety champion will keep you updated on issues on all the health and safety issues that we're bringing forward throughout the HCS. Help to show you what good health and safety looks like. Obviously, we need to train them first. They'll challenge you about unsafe behaviours and practices. So if they see you putting a chair on top of a table, they'll tell you that you shouldn't have that chair on the table. You've got to take it off and get the proper ladder. They'll challenge you about it. What we're trying to get the idea is that everyone challenges each other so we all make it a safer place for each other. They'll liaise with staff and customers, so staff will know who they are. Customers also, when they come in, will know who our health and safety champions are. So if they've got issues, they'll be able to talk to them as well. <coughs> they'll attend a health and safety meeting where topics will be discussed like issues that have been reported so that we can find out what's going on throughout the business if we've got trends of accidents happening. They'll be discussing training, <coughs> most of important, will be discussing best practice. So if we find something that works best at White Nights, we'll bring it over here. If we find something that works really well here, we'll take it over to White Nights. Rather than us all doing different things, we want to try to make it so they're all doing exactly the same, but in the safest possible way. Thank you. So, who are your champions? I'm not going to read all these names out. There's far too many for me. But you can look down there and see yourselves, see where, over on that side, we've got some Greenland's champions. So get to know who your health and safety champion is. They'll be coming and letting you know who they are. <coughs> and so as soon as they've had their first meeting and had some training, they'll know what they're doing. Okay? So, what issues are you going to report? Things like faulty equipment. <coughs> At no point ever should you be using equipment that's faulty and dangerous. If it's faulty, report it, we'll repair it. We've never not repaired equipment, so don't use faulty equipment. We can't always get your brand new again, but if it's damaged and, we can, and we, we can repair it, we will get it repaired. If it's dangerous, we will get it repaired to make it safe for you to work. So always make sure you report it. If you don't report it, we can't repair it. Damage to the building. So even though it's nothing to do with you, if you're walking past the building and you see the windows broken, report it. If everybody walks past that window and no one reports it, that window's going to be broken for months. It needs you to report it so we can get it repaired. Yeah. It's not a case of it's not my business. It's our business. The whole business is our business. We need to report it to you. We 
if you were a team member, has an accident, you thought hopefully no one would have that accident. But if you have an accident, report it. Get it down as, the, as an incident, get it reported. Firstly, for their protection, in case they need further time off work, for instance, because they've had an accident, we need to know what, what, why it is that they're needing the time off work and whose fault it was. But also so that we can pick up trains. As I said earlier, if we can find trains or things that are going <coughs> wrong, we can fix them. So if you see a, member has an, a team member has an accident, make sure you report it. If you see her involved in an incident, report it. We had one of our managers was out driving one day, somebody on a bike in front of him, for no reason whatsoever, fell off the bike. He didn't hit them. Yeah? They just fell off the bike. We don't know why they fell off the bike. Was it a hole in the road? Did they hit, a, they hit the curb? Did they hit a, uh, a drain cover? You, know, you need to check these things and report them. As much for the safety as that person, as the next person that comes along will do exactly could. could do exactly the same thing, and then they fall over as well. So if any, any incident, you see an incident, you're involved in an incident, report it. If you spot a near miss, report it. So the carpet that's rubbed up. We had one at White Nights. Every morning the carpet was rubbed up. So unless somebody reports it, it will be every morning that our carpet's rubbed up. So we need to get it fixed. The drain cover. So you're walking outside and there's a drain cover. Report it. Yeah? If you're going to trip up on it, someone else will trip up on it. You might be the lucky one and trip and say, oh, that was a, a near miss. Or you might be the one that trips up on it and breaks the nose, breaks the chin, and it's all over. Or driving. Yeah? We've all just started to drive. Uh, so we've all started to do the driver awareness, rather, around uh, campus and around Freeman's campus. If you spot any of this sort of driving, near misses of bikes, near misses of, some of pedestrians, it's around here, you don't have that many cats, people walk on the road, you know, report it. It's not a case of telling that person off, people need to know that this is happening. If there's lots of near misses, because there's no cat, for instance, it's perhaps we need to have a PAP. Yeah? If, nobody, if nobody reports it, we don't know we need a PAP. So you need to report these things. The thing is, don't take risks for yourself and safety. As I say, I mean, that, this one is a little bit over the top, but I have seen people putting chairs on tops of tables and then climbing on the chairs. Hopefully not chairs with wheels on. Yeah? But it's the sort of death thing that people do. So don't take your risks for yourself and safety. It's your safety. It's your health. So who are you going to tell? You can tell your line manager, obviously. Tell your supervisor. Now you'll be able to tell your health and safety champion. You put it in your daily diary. You tell any manager at all. Yeah, any manager will always be interested. You can send an email to Caping Admin. That's capingadmin at reading.ac.uk. Or you can tell Matthew White, CHCS Director. We're all interested in health and safety. Health and safety is for us all. It's not just for me. It's not just for managers. It's for everyone. If everyone works together with health and safety, we'll be in a healthy, safety place. Right. Quiz time. Okay, so those of you that 